Hi, I'm Carol Bieber. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. I'm Robin Bieber's mother, and best of all, I'm Skyler's grandmother. Hey, and my name is Bob, Bob Bieber, and I'm from Kansas City, and my mother, Mary Bieber, is in Silver Spring, Maryland. She watches this show every day. She Hi, is Skyler's great-grandmother. Hi, Mom. How are you today? Showtime. Let's go right now. It's time for Elaine's Creative Living, and we have some great ideas coming your way on the show today. We'll paint a pretty pillow for teddy bear collectors. Now, don't you rush out and buy an expensive Christmas wreath. The Quick Crafter can help you design your own. And we have a stenciled centerpiece, perfect for your holiday entertaining. We will transform popsicle sticks into a handy key holder. And create your own seasonal jewelry designs with Shrink It. We're also continuing Patty's dinner party decor with elegant holiday card holders. So let's get crafting. I hope you've been having fun with our little buffet. We started it last Thursday and Friday, and now we're going to continue with some more ideas. The idea I want to talk about today is the card holder. Now, this is something I've done before, but for an everyday idea, and I turn it into a holiday idea by doing it in a gold bowl with a nice gold bow. And this is so cute to put your cards in for the holidays. And you know what? After the holidays, take that little gold bow off of there and then use it for photographs. You can put it anywhere in the house. And Another idea you might want to think about is this is a great way to give gifts. Fill this full of some great photos and put it in a box and wrap it up and wouldn't that be fun to receive and especially if you're going to send it in the mail to someone that would really be fun because they could display their photos by their desk or what have you. This is a great little idea and really fun and easy to do. So let's get started. What I did was I went to the thrift store, I'm always going there, and I found these great little parfait or ice cream dishes. And this was a clear dish, and I just spray painted it gold. And all I did was just spray paint it on the inside and the outside, that way you have a good solid covering. Now I'm going to set that aside and bring it over here. And this is the fun part, you get to play with a, the Lean's Craft Tools, and what you do is work this little end into a circle just like this, and it's very easy. And just, you want to make all of them pretty much uniform, and it'll be very simple to do if you just do the same motion on all of them. That's all there is to it, just like that, and do that. Oh, I think I did uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these for each one. And just put them together, lay them flat in your hand or on the table, and then tape them right here and then what you need to do is trim these a little bit. Just use your Aline's craft tool to uh, cut that off. And just like this, just to, uh, they don't have to be really even. Now, we need to form an anchor for these to be held into the plaster. So I'm going to just kind of twist these up a little bit. And that way, there'll be something that will grab hold of that plaster and they won't come out so easily. And just continue until you get every one of them like that. See? Makes like a little anchor to, a, to, the, to your boat or something. And that tape will kind of hold it together. Okay, now I get to uh, lay that aside and make my plaster. And I've just got some of the plaster that's really fast setting up. I'm going to pour a little water in here and stir this up. This is a great uh, craft even for kids. Now you could wait and spray paint the entire thing with uh, gold spray paint and that would be fun too. And I'm just going to keep working this until I get it to the consistency that I want it. 
Now what is really a cool idea is to do a whole lot of these at the same time. And that way you can uh, do a sort of an assembly line and that makes it even more fun and interesting to do. Now you want to go ahead and put this into your card holder bowl. This is kind of like cooking, isn't it? <laughs> and it'll set up really quick. Uh, I want to talk about, while we wait on this to get a little harder, about what we've done, what we did Thursday and Friday. If you'll notice the little buffet tables, they are so adorable and all they are is foam core board. And what I did was cut out each one of the legs separately and then I placed the little uh, top on there with using hot glue. And this is black foam core board with the black foam. And so you don't have to do any painting, but you of course could do anything you wanted to. You could paint it also. And then another thing we did was the serving plates and the dessert dishes. That is just reverse collage glue and napkins and some paint. Now tomorrow we're going to talk about the great little napkin rings. These are so easy and this is way to personalize your party. Okay, I think the plaster's starting to set up a little bit. So I'm just going to reach in here and place it in here. Now if it's not set up enough to hold it, you can take scotch tape and go across it all four ways and hold it until that it's done. And when you're all completely finished and it's set up, just uh, tie a nice little bow on there. Now we've got a great kit today. It's the Aline's Crafting Tools and you're going to have a great time with these tools. They can do anything that you need with wire and all of your great little craft projects. It's time to have some really big top fun with this great little pillow. Now we have got another book for you today and this is Cherished Teddies, right Lauren? That's right and that pillow was so cute because it has, like you say, big top fun and there's a cute little teddy just sitting right there ready to have <laughs> some fun with the circus critters. And this is an iron transfer, right? That's right. Everything has been taken care of, it, care of for us. Mm -hmm. There's over 300 iron-on transfers in this book that we're using wow. today, the Cherished Teddies. And like I say, everything comes in there. The other thing that you get when you order is the creative workbook. And that has all kinds of project ideas and everything in there. And the pillow itself, that's, mm -hmm. that is pictured in there as well as lots of other color pictures, step-by-step right. -step instructions. Everything that you really need to, to get inspired to start. There's our little circus it pillow. It sure is. To get inspired to start doing some cherished teddies. Uh, I love this workbook. Now let's look at the iron-ons for a little bit. That's why I said there are so many. They're reusable and that's what's real nice. And look at this cute little test transfer on oh, the corner. Oh. You get a little um, paw print for the little teddy on there. Well they have covered everything here from summertime fun to holidays to uh, just going back to school. All types of ideas. That's right and this is such a cute little collectible bear that, you know, it's, it's fun for everybody, even mm -hmm. if you're not into this particular collection. They have such sweet little faces, <laughs> and they're doing so many different things in there that, like you say, there's something for everybody. Well, let's look at this little, little box over here. Isn't this is so sweet. This is a sweet little jewelry mm -hmm. box for a little girl, and we've just applied it on, to, we've made it on a plain fabric, and then applied it on to mm -hmm. another color, so you could absolutely match your home decor with that. Well, speaking of home decor, this banner is so sweet. Again, We've just, for this particular one, we've just painted directly onto the muslin fabric. Mm -hmm. And again, put it in whatever colors you want to go with your home. Well, sure. Now this little sweatshirt is so sweet. Cute little holiday sweatshirt. There's a little bear all snuggled up with little <laughs> bells and bows and, and everything you need to just, just have fun with it. Well, it really gets me in the Christmas spirit, doesn't it, you? It certainly does, and these make great gifts. You know, mm -hmm. you can make multiple you know, projects and give them to all your friends. Yes. Well, let's do this little demonstration okay. on this little seal. Well, what we're doing is the pillow today. Now this is one of the transfers. I have already cut it out from the book. All right. Like I said, it's reusable. You want to make sure you cut off your test transfer. You do want to test that onto another fabric, mm -hmm. you know, to make sure that you're ironing the proper time. Go ahead and just get that ironed on here. Now, Lauren, do you wash your fabric before you begin? I do on this particular fabric just because it's a plain muslin. Mm -hmm. If it's something that, you know, that really doesn't need to be washed or that might wrinkle too bad, mm -hmm. you definitely don't need to wash it. Okay. Because you're probably not going to wash this pillow. Oh, and nice. And you can see, I just was a little light up here on the edge, but, mm -hmm. you know, use your own, use your own discretion for as much as you want to do okay. that. Okay. Now here we've got one that's been ironed on, and we want to put some fusible web on the back. 
because number one, it makes it more stable. And the second part is we're actually going to be fusing it onto our pillow. Okay. So get that ironed on there. Just makes it a lot easier to paint when you put the fusible web on there. It really does. So don't peel off your paper. Okay. Leave your paper on. And then at this point, we are ready to paint. I've got one started. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you that one. Okay. I am just moving quick through here. Yes, you are. So here's our cute little bear on here. We've got our seal already painted. And let's just go ahead and paint in his platform there. Okay. So Now, does it give you color ideas? It sure does. That workbook has great color ideas in okay. it. Okay. And I cheated. I'm just use, you know, using the colors that were on there. And look how nice that covers on there. Oh, that is neat. So you want to get all of it painted in there mm -hmm. and then go through with a brown permanent marker uh -huh. and do all your detail lines and that's what really gives it, it makes it pop out at mm -hmm. you. Makes it look finished. Right. The next step, once you've got that all done, is you buy a purchased pil pillow. Okay. And you want to open the seam up and take the stuffing mm -hmm. out of it, okay? Oh, We've okay. got a pillow down there. Yes. We want to make sure to take the stuffing out so that we can iron our little bear on there. All right. And then, real simply, I know we don't have time to finish it up, but you put some fabric strips on the outside, cut mm -hmm. those, glue some buttons on. We fused all this on there, and that's yes. all there is to it. Put your pillow back in and you're set. This is a great idea, Lauren. Thank you so much for being here today. You're quite welcome. If you ever wanted to make your own floral home decor for each and every season or to match a specific decor or theme, the Quick Crafter is the tool for you. Patty recently got a lesson in just how easy it is. Let's take a look. Linda Kamesiak is back from Maple Ridge Supply and she has the Quick Crafter again to show us. These are amazing projects, Linda. Yes, they really are. It's, it's great to be back, Patty. We're going to be working with a fresh Christmas wreath this, um, this time I'm here. We're going to be making a two-clip eucalypt, eucalyptus Christmas swag. It's uh -huh. just beautiful. It's got some magnolia swags in it. And we're going to be, uh, I think I want to have you make an everyday wreath that, you know, would go anywhere. So I would love that. The aroma in here is absolutely intoxicating. And the Christmas greens mixed with the roses in this wreath are, it's just extraordinary. And it was so easy to make. You don't have to have any design or floral experience to use this Quick Crafter. It's so easy. It, uh, it takes the difficult, uh, time-consuming and tedious project that wreath making and floral decor used to be, and now it's, it's fun, it's easy, you can make absolutely beautiful items using this Quick Crafter. Well, I am excited about this, and I would really like to see how it works. It, I, I've seen it several times, and it always is just so fascinating. Well, we can, uh, I'll go through the basics. What it is, is, is it's actually a stapling type of um, system. Mm -hmm. It's the tool, that it's perfectly um, portable, you can store this when you're done with it so you don't have to have a dedicated workspace. Mm -hmm. It uses a wire frame. All the clips are all the same size and we've got lots of different shapes so your design possibilities are, are just endless. I'm, I'm going to be working with um, a double clip for the uh, first project that okay. we're going to be making. And all we do is we place these clips inside these arms and they're notched. The arms are notched mm -hmm. and so you can't you don't, have, you don't have to worry about it wiggling out of, okay. um, out of the spot that we're going to put this in. I've rubber band my material together, but you really don't have to do this. I've, I've saved some time, but I've used uh, eucalyptus for my background. I've used some uh, misty, hunter green misty, uh, berry spray. Uh, I think this is actually a parchment, parchment. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, magnolia swag here. And we just place it inside the clip with one pull of the handle. Mm -hmm. I've got half of it done already. Oh, magnificent. Isn't that something? <laughs> yes, it is. So you're just turning it around. Turning it around the other way. And going to do the same thing again. Yep. Oh. And I've done the same thing with this side as the other side. We're going to be putting that into the clip again. Mm -hmm. Pull the handle. And it's right. not hard to pull at all. No. Um, it's almost effortless. Now, you've put these in rubber bands to make it effortless for TV, for the gathering, mm -hmm. but you wouldn't have to do this to actually to make it work. Sure. You can save time and just put things in your hand as you go along, mm -hmm. or, or you can put the clip inside this and, and just stack your material right inside the clip. I see. And then pull when you're ready. So all we have to do is add the bow. <laughs> all we have to do is add the bow and in no Voila. time at all. Look at that beautiful piece oh, that it he's is got. fabulous. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, it is. This will be beautiful above a bar area or the uh, kitchen area, the doorway. over a window, oh, doorway. Sure. You're yeah. right. Yeah. What else have you got to show me? Well, um, I'm going to have you work next with our um, 
preserved salal and make just okay. kind of an everyday wreath. I want you to see how easy this okay. can be. Okay, well, I'll swap you places Great. and see what I can do. Now, I've done this before, so I feel really experienced now. <laughs> so go for it. Okay, I'm going to put it, place it right here within mm -hmm. the little staple part. Mm -hmm. And then you've already been kind enough to put it in bundles for me. Sure. Down. I place it in here at a slant, right? At a slant. And the more that you slant it towards the outside, the wider the uh, diame diameter, the outside diameter, your wreath is going to be. And you oh. can just see how, how quickly this is going. This is so fun. These, <laughs> these are great for um, home decor, making your ho own home decor. Just think of the money that you can save. If you've ever been to any craft or um, art bazaars and you thought to yourself, wow, um, I'd love to have that, but I really don't want to pay that much for it. Right. Uh, the quick crafter pays for itself within probably your first several um, items that you make with it. I so. can see why. Yeah. I have seen these in catalogs for like 100 up to $200. It's just awful. But you know what? Like you say, this is something that you could... Uh, you can make money with, you can make gifts with, mm -hmm. and do your whole house. You can uh, decorate to the, the theme of your living room, family room, bedroom, um, get into the different seasons besides Christmas. You can yes. decorate for Easter, for summer, uh, a fall wreath, mm. uh, a Memorial Day. Um, arch or swag. Now I'm just kind of fanning these out because mm -hmm. you were telling me earlier that that would even add to the fullness and look at that how sure. beautiful. And how quickly this is going together. <laughs> you can use fabrics, you can use twigs, you can use um, fresh florals, anything that you know you can imagine of, of putting in home decor can be made with the Quick Crafter. Mm -hmm. Well, now you could even go to your yard and uh, get some things, couldn't sure, you, Linda? Sure, sure. We're <laughs> going to show you that with our Christmas wreath that we just trimmed some shrubs out of the out of our yard. <laughs> um, some people like to grow uh, flowers, uh, yarrow and status, and if you dry those, um, you can be making your own wreaths from your, your own flowers. And I think I'm done. You're done. <laughs> Look how beautiful that turned out. Isn't that nice? Just lovely. I'm so proud of this. This would go in my studio at home so beautifully, Linda. That's great. It's beautiful. It's full. The colors are wonderful. Mm -hmm. And like you say, you can do it whatever color you want. Really? Now, yeah. I've seen this basket over here. Tell me about that. This is something new, and it's made on a basket trimmer. It's a two-clip piece, and what it has is these bendable, you can bend these with your fingers, mm -hmm. to fit over a basket. You can fit it over the edge of the handle like we did here. Right. You can put it to the side like Wonderful. that. Possibly put it on the edge of the basket here or uh -huh. possibly here. So you can do a lot of things with the basket trimmers. They're, and they're so easy. They're now so I'm easy dying to, to see you put this Christmas wreath together. Will you do that for us I too? I sure will. All right, yes. I'll swap your places again. Good. <laughs> I'm going to make that on an eight inch clip. Okay. Ring. Again, and we're going to slide this over. Okay. And I'm going to snap that in there again. Now, what have you got here? These are just some clippings off of uh, shrubs, and it makes it quite easy to have fresh, mm -hmm. fresh uh, Christmas wreaths. That is a beautiful idea. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm using a little bit of pine here, and I'm getting, I'm placing my handful on the outside. So I'm going to have a nice, full, and large wreath. Well, this isn't one of those machines that's dangerous or you have to have electricity for. It's portable. You can just put it anywhere to mm -hmm. work. And there's no hand wrapping or hot gluing with any of these things. If you've ever tried to uh, make things using a spool wire, mm -hmm. uh, you know that it's very tedious. Very tedious. You're getting your wire tangled in things and going this way and that way with it. And now, this works. Linda, what if I make a mistake? Is there any way to uh, change that once I get it in there? Well, I'm glad you asked because <laughs> we've got this wonderful little tool. It's called the Recycle Tool. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's invaluable. If you have the Quick Crafter, this is a must because everybody makes a mistake once in a while. But right. with with, the, with this tool, you really can't make a mistake. So if I decide I don't want that pine cone in there, right. he's in there pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is, it's hollow here. We fit that over the end of one of those clips. Mm -hmm. We open it up. Pull him out. And look at that. Okay. Yeah. So we can... So we place it back in the stapler and go sure, for it Sure, we again? can do that. Yeah. I see. And we can go there, place it back in the stapler. Okay. And there we go. So we're on to finishing our wreath. And oh. it's, it's just, uh, these things go by so fast. Mm -hmm. 
but what I guess what I love about this is that I did it myself. Right, and, right. And I made Grandma a gift, and I made Auntie Sarah a gift, and <laughs> they just love me for it. Well, speaking of Auntie Sarah, what if she wants to buy this kit today? How much is she going to spend? She's going to only spend seventy nine eighty eight. <laughs> All Isn't right. Isn't that great? Uh, seventy nine ninety nine, and it's an eighty nine ninety nine value, value, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, what all do we get in this, Linda? Uh, with the Quick Crafter, it comes installed inside the mini work table. It comes with 18 shapes and full instructions on how to make all of these uh, items, mm -hmm. you know, how to use the, the three clip arch, the five clip uh, swag, and the eight inch wreath. My and goodness. also comes with some project sheets. And then we have some things also in open stack. Uh, different shapes such as squares, mm -hmm. um, the two, the basket trimmers are in there. There's a video in there to right. help beginners really get going and they can really start uh, having fun, making mm -hmm. money, and enjoying wreath making again. Well now I don't want our viewers to miss this part. This is so extraordinary. Would you show me how this works? I've seen it done, but now I know they haven't seen it. This <laughs> is amazing. If anybody's ever tried to, uh, and, and those of you who've, who've crafted before, you try to cut wire stems, mm -hmm. you're struggling with a pair of uh, clippers, this fits in here so easily, and look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> look how, I mean, that's a thick piece of wire, yes, and they're covered is. with hard plastic. I would have really wrenched my wrist with this, and the operators will take care of our orders on this, won't they? Yes, they will. It never needs sharpening. You won't lose it because mm -hmm. you clamp it to your work surface. It's a great tool, and it's about half the price of a good pair of clippers. Oh, that's a great point. Thank you so much for being here today. You are such a delight, and this is a great tool. Thank you, Patty. We're back for another half hour of Aline's Creative Living, so don't you go anywhere because we're not done crafting yet. That's right. We have a stencil centerpiece that's quick and easy. We'll pull popsicle sticks out of our recycle bin for a perfect picket project and craft cute holiday jewelry. But first, it's time for today's sharing. Patty, you have a really delicious delicious letter to share I today. I really do. This is so pretty. And you know what? She sent us all kinds of pictures. This is from, let's see, where's her name? Let's see. It's from Pat O'Day from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And what a sweet and, and prolific lady. She has made a ton uh, of wonderful projects. Yes. But go ahead and... All right, let's go for the letter. Creative minds are rarely tidy. She puts it at the very ah, top. Don't I you like it? Her. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Aline, from one plastic canvasser to another, hello. I have been using Aline's products and ideas since the 60s when my aunt on Quadra Island, Maddie Allen, taught me to make wood fiber flowers. Oh, wow. Can you imagine? I totally agree with crafting changing lives. I encourage everyone I meet to find something to do. I've been making pretty things since I was four years old and I'm now 45. I have learned how to tat, to needle tat wow. from your show. Isn't that cool? That's great. And she says, I share my home. You're going to love this. I know. I love this part. <laughs> with a 14-year-old fuzzy black cat called Cricket. She has three others. One's named Sheba, another's named Shadow, and another one's named Digger. And I like that she tells us how much they weigh. These are yes. pretty big cats, 16 Sheba's pounds. 16 pounds and Shadow is I too. thought this was 161 pounds, <laughs> but I think I just read it wrong. <laughs> That'd be she, a big cat. Oh, they are. Huge cat says they are all rescued and can't seem to function mm. without being in the same room as me. When they like you, they lick you. Sheba and Cricket, Cricket fetch like dogs. There's more. She says, I have two female ferrets, two male canaries, Four zebra finches, there's more, <laughs> and two budgies. Now, you're leaving that out. She said she has two budgies that swear like sailors. <laughs> <laughs> but they learned to do that before they came before, to live with Pat. Now, yes. I want to show you. Um, she is the queen of plastic canvas, and I want to show you all Beautiful. of these. Look at these. These are lampshades. That is so neat. Look at this. Look how different and unique these are. This one could actually be upside down and be a fancy trash or a parasol oh, holder. Oh, I see that. Look yes. at these. You oh, know, wow. I have to say, I've been given kind of a bad rap because once I said that plastic canvas was mindless, and what I meant by that is that it's relaxing and soothing. And you could look at this. Look, wow. This is exquisite. This is a very Art Deco. Very creative. I isn't think plastic it? canvas is very cool, but it is soothing, and I guess the word is soothing and relaxing, not mindless. So I'll just take a moment to oh, you know what? apologize she could open for that. A boutique with just oh, nothing these but are this fabulous. kind of stuff. And these must all be in her house. Mm -hmm. Look how colorful they are. Yeah, plant oh. covers. There's actually a lot more plastic canvas in here than wow, she actually 
Yeah, these could be like yeah, candle votive candle holders. Wow, these are so cool. Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, and these Pat, are beaded too. You have just really classed up this uh, plastic canvas. This is gorgeous. Well, you these made cool. our day. This was a wonderful sharing segment. Thank <laughs> you so much for being such a creative person really? and sharing your talents with us. You've inspired us today. Now, coming up next, you're going to be inspired by some more goodies. A unique stencil centerpiece. Stay tuned. You know, it's got to where we use stencils for everything, especially for home decor these days. Now, these centerpieces are gorgeous, and they're brought to us today by Lauren Johnston and Delta. Tell me about these, Lauren. Well, these are really quick and easy centerpieces, Patty. We basically just use some napkins. Some of them have two napkins, some have single napkin. Stenciled on them and then just wrapped them around mason jars. Couldn't oh. be more simple, and what a great centerpiece for all different theme parties that you're having. Oh, really? So that is just a jar underneath that little denim That's napkin? That's all it is. It's just a mason jar under there. And here's, you know, one we haven't used for a centerpiece, mm -hmm. but you just put school pencils in there or, you know, all kinds of different themes. And with as many different stencils as these come in, you can do just about anything. Oh, well, Delta's always so creative with their ideas. Now, this is something I've never seen before, and I really like this, especially with the fresh flowers, with it being in a mason jar that's Wonderful. I know, real simple to do, like I said. And here's one, you know, for, for the holidays. Could be for your New Year's party or whatever. It's stenciled in silver and gold with just some silver and gold sparkles coming out of it. You know, what more fun can you have than that? Really? Now, this would be great for a party centerpiece, like you said. Now, this is cute for kids. I like that. This little garden theme, that's what we're going to be demonstrating today. Very, very easy just by using the pocket stencil on the corner. You can see we get this nice corner design, mm -hmm. and then we use a straight stencil along the edge. And let me just peek under there and show you uh -huh. that here's the other napkin, how easy it is. We've just put a rubber band around there yes. to attach it to the jar so you can easily wash it yes. because these are fabric paints. Once we've heat set them, you can wash them again. Great. So, so you've just got two napkins here, right. so in a layered effect. Right. For this particular one, now you don't need to stencil this way, obviously, but I just wanted to show everyone that we've got two napkins. Okay. And I've gone ahead and taped on my stencils. Now let me just show you how they come. This is the pocket stencil. Comes this way. So I just cut off the edge because we don't need that. That mm -hmm. has our directions on there. And then the shirt stencil. All these places for doing collars Ooh. and for putting around your um, cuff. So it's really sort of designed for a corner already, isn't right. it? Right, it's designed for a shirt. So what, what could be easier? So we just cut out the part that we need. Mm -hmm. And we've already done that. They are self-adhesive, which I love. Oh, me too. So you just peel off the backing and then you want to throw that away. That's too hard to reuse. Okay. Um, and adhere it on there. You can wash it with soap and water mm -hmm. and that reactivates the you know, adhesion on there too, right. stored in a plastic bag and that just keeps it ready for you to use the next time. Oh, this is a great so idea. that's basically the beginning of it. Okay. So I've gone ahead, I did adhere that on here and then I just mask it out, the parts I don't want to use with some low tack tape. Mm -hmm. And I've got that done, I've got my one on there and we are ready to stencil. I'm using my stencil buddy, which I love. <laughs> it makes it real easy for small areas. Mm -hmm. And this is such a small area that we're doing. And I've just torn some sponge into just different little shapes, OK? Right. So let's go ahead and do the, let's do the flower pot. And you will see how easy this is. As I said, this is great fabric paint. Some of them are shimmering, and some are just you know solid colors. Uh -huh. Don't want to get too much on there. So just blot it off a little bit on there. And then that's how quick and easy it goes on there. Well, it's great that there's adhesive under there because it's not going to uh, bleed, is it? Right, it makes it really easy. Wow. And it's it's a th nice thin stencil, uh -huh. so that's what makes it go on, you know, really flat. Oh, okay. So by using this little buddy, look how easy it is to avoid the areas that I don't want this paint in. Right. That's what's so nice about it. Now, you don't have to use this for bigger areas, but I mm -hmm. really like using it. <gasps> Let's go ahead and do another color, and then I will <laughs> peel it off and show you how good it works. Well, this is great, Lauren. I never thought about the advantages of being able to change out the color so easily with a little bitty snippets of sponge. Well, I know. One sponge will get you through this whole project wow. just about. Okay, so I've got my blue ready. And I just go ahead and stencil that. Uh huh. And you can do it as light or dark as you want. It's up to you. Okay. I need a little more paint for that. And that is great. Real simple, as you can tell, Patty. Uh-huh. And then I do recommend that you heat set this. Okay. You can put it in a hot dryer or iron it. 
and uh -huh. then it's washable. All right. <gasps> Let me quickly peel oh, that oh, off. Oh. See, look how easy that yes. is. <laughs> Perfect lines. Girlfriend, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Laura, for showing us a great new Delta idea. My pleasure. It's time to talk about recycling, and this is one of those times I just really have a blast with this. You have come up with some of the coolest things, Valerie. What is it today? Thanks, Patty. Today, I brought some popsicle sticks that my children brought me. They were eating popsicles and said, Mom, I want you to make something with this. <laughs> well, this is the cutest little idea. Now, where would you put this? You could either put it on your refrigerator, put a magnet on it and hang it on so you don't lose your mailbox key or a lock in the garage that you might have or your car keys. Oh, I love it. Now, you could put this by the back door as you could leave or come through that right, door right. and it would be just adorable. Now, are you sure this is just popsicle sticks? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Let's see you fix something with this. Okay. The first thing you want to do is you want to eat a lot of popsicles so you have about 10 or 11 popsicle sticks. Oh, I could handle okay? that. <laughs> and then you want to start cutting them. And I tried using sandpaper and it was actually easier to do it with just scissors. Oh. So what I did was I just cut off the round part of the bottom of the popsicle stick. Okay. And this might go flying. Okay. <laughs> Look out camera guys. So you have a straight edge and then you want to do your points. All right. Just cut off the tips. Man that's easy. And I didn't measure them to do my next one. I just kind of lined them up and eyed them. Uh-huh. Okay. And went and did the next one. Oh, and that cute. one just went flying. <laughs> <laughs> and then just did that one. Okay. So then you want to you want to do two just regular ones about two inches apart and then just start gluing on your pickets and I've already done these and I'll do the last two here. Okay. Now this would really be clever for kids, wouldn't it? It sure would. Now you could do it with just a tacky glue instead of the hot glue gun. You, you could, yeah. I just I used the hot glue. It was easier in my garage. Mm -hmm. So you just want to put these on. Okay. And you don't have to measure the spacing or anything because no picket fence is right. exactly perfect. Well, I think that's why it's so cute is because it's not perfect. That's much cuter. And then you have a little crossbar on the back, don't right. you? Right. So after I did this, I did leave a space here because I'm going to glue a bird up oh. on the fence. You want to do your cross fence or picket here <laughs> and glue that onto there. All right. Okay? So then stuck. you have this. And I did just one coat of ivory paint, okay. the Elaine's acrylic paint, okay? And then I put in a hook to hang your key. And then what I want to do is start painting my vines going up the picket. Okay. Now, don't make this look hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> this was kind of hard for me, and now my hands are shaking, so it's going to be even harder. Oh, this will look cute, though. I, I think that kids would really enjoy this. I just and did, they could write, even sorry. write their name on there, couldn't right, they? Right, they sure could. They sure could. Now you're going to put even some little flowers on there. This is so creative. Thank you. I remember whenever I was a little kid doing the little Girl Scout thing, we always were doing things with popsicle sticks. And it's just a great thing for kids to be able to uh, do crafting with such an item because it's so easy. Right. I remember when I was in school, I did this when I was younger. Mm -hmm. You can also just put some little grass on the bottom of your fence here. <laughs> okay. This Do some cute. leaves. Okay. Now, I th simple. I'm looking forward to the next time you do something recycling. We can have people send in things, right? We sure can. Um, if you send, it's nice to have you send in more than three items. Okay. Because then I definitely have more to work with. Otherwise, it's hard to, hard to do the steps. Okay, and then I'll All just right. put on some purple flowers. Okay. This is so cute, Valerie. Now, was it hard getting the little cup hook in there? It was very easy. It went all the way just straight through. Mm-hmm. Just do some flowers. Okay. Then what I did whoops, was I just glued on all right. the bird. Yes. And I also made a little key sign to put above the key hook. So do you just glue that on? Just glued those on. Okay. And then what is this for? This is a hanger if you want to hang it on the wall. Or mm -hmm. you can do a magnet on the back, like I said earlier, right. and then just hang it on your fridge or on your wall, either way. Okay, let me turn that around for the 
the camera. How cute. Another great recycling idea. Thanks, Patty. So send in your items. This is fun. You'll do it again, right? Of course. Okay. We have a fast and easy way to add some holiday flair to your wardrobe. Now, this project you can do literally in minutes, and it's awfully cute for the kids or even for you to wear. Now, we want to welcome today, this is Danelle Frost. She is an excellent designer as well as a CLN representative, and this is her first time. Welcome to the show, Danelle. Thank you, Catherine. Nice to be here. Now, you've done such a a lovely job on these projects. Let's go ahead and take a look again, a, a closer look at the Santa and Santa and Friends. Yes, well actually I used um, the opaque shrink it and I used a design from an Aline Shrink It book. I've uh, pulled my designs from many different places, clip art books, but uh, Aline's Pattern Packs and Shrink It books do have a lot of very nice holiday designs. Well, it's awfully nice to have the necklace, the brooch, and the earrings. I guess that's what I meant by Santa and his friends. Oh, yes. But let's also take a look at this cute little gingerbread guy. He's made the same way, same technique on the opaque shrink it. I've used uh, Prismacolor pencils for all the designs used today and just a simple permanent marker. Now what we're going to do today is my absolute favorite, the snowman is very irresistible. Awfully cute. I like the way you connected the different pieces with the, the rat tail cording. Very simple too, very simple. It's just some uh, little scraps and pieces that you probably already have around the house. Well, Danelle, let's prove just how simple this project is to everyone. Okay, well from the very beginning with Shrink It, uh, you can take the entire page if you would like. And the first thing you want to do with Shrink It is to sand it in several different directions with a very fine grit sandpaper and all of the directions are on the Shrink It package. And once you've done that, you just kind of wipe the dust away. I've already got my set here for my earrings, my necklace, and my pin started. And I'll just show you real quickly how I finish it with the permanent marker. They have a new permanent marker out now that has both a fine tip and a ultra fine, so I like that so I don't have to worry about losing them. All you do is you just trace around. And the wonderful thing about the snowman is that the opaque shrink it will shrink up white. So you do not have to color anything that is going to be um, the white part of the snowman. Now, why don't we go ahead and pop your colored one already okay. into the oven. Okay, you wanna make sure first, if you're using the baking boards, that you sprinkle a little bit of baby powder on it. That way your shrink it won't stick to your baking board and you just pop it into the toaster oven or a conventional oven. And you know another really good tip to keep it from sticking is always make the decorative side facing up. Definitely. I've had many little accidents where I have actually melted the pencil and ink down to the baking board. Right. So you just want to make sure that it's facing up and you don't have to worry a thing about it. Let's go ahead and color this. Okay. I have chose to use uh, Prismacolor oil pencils. There are a variety of oil pencils on the market that you can use. You can also use permanent pens. And all I'm going to do is just start coloring in. It's just like coloring when you were a child with a coloring book. And it's just very simple. There's not a lot to it. And don't you think that sanding the shrink it is what makes the colored pencils adhere Definitely. so nicely? Definitely. It gives it a tooth to grab to. If you were to try this without sanding it, it would not actually stick to it once you shrunk the shrink it. <laughs> so it's just very simple. There's not a whole lot to this. Now, you were telling me earlier that you like to sell these at your craft fairs. How, how well do they go? They go very well, especially the jewelry, because it is easy to make. It does not take a lot of time. And you can do seasonal jewelry. You don't have to just do typical bugs and such like that that you see that are out and popular today. There's a lot of butterflies and dragonflies, but I like to do the seasonal jewelry with the snowmen and the Santas, and, right. and they go very well. And we can see our Santa is starting to shrink up over there. He's yes, he doing is. fine. And the color becomes so intense, so you don't have to worry about coloring every single tiny little square inch because it really does become intense once it shrinks up. Now, how large of a hole do you need to punch in order to um, have it shrink in, to use your jewelry findings? I like to use a 1 8 hole punch. I find that it works a lot better and the little findings just about hide inside that hole. Okay. Okay, now we do have a kit today. It has the Aline's crafting plastic, some shrink it, opaque, and the clear shrink it, as well as a baking board. So you have just about everything you need. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Hey, 
it's time for Watch and Win. And today, the Watch and Win prize is the Aline Shrink It and Crafting Plastic Get Acquainted Kit. It's a $12.99 value. Yes, it is. You can do a lot of fun things with that, can't you, Patty? <laughs> oh, man, you can. Well, why don't you um, draw, the, draw the winner today? You want oh, me to? Sure. Okay. All, right. All right, all right, all right. I'll go right down in the middle. This one. There are so many right cards here. in here. You know, oh, <laughs> Kelly Woods from Fruitvale. British, British Columbia, Columbia, Canada. I can't even. <laughs> Canada. She lives in Canada. Canada. And we honor our Canada viewers. Yes. Well, just give us a call anytime today at 1 800 825 3363 to claim your Watchmen Prize. Thanks for that little recover there. <laughs> well, let's talk about tomorrow's All show. Right. On tomorrow's show, we have a fast and fun painted picture frame. We'll get ready for a banner year with No So Millennium Project and create beautiful Victorian greeting cards. Can't wait. We'll see you then. Bye bye. Bye bye.